And now at 11, a plea deal for the South Florida rabbi accused of fondling a little girl. And he will soon have his record cleared. CBS 4's Donna Rapato joins us live from outside the Miami-Dade courthouse. Donna? Ruta Bay, I spoke to the rabbi earlier tonight. He maintains he is innocent, that he did not molest this 11-year-old girl, but he explained he did accept a plea deal here at the courthouse today to keep the girl from suffering through a trial. First charged with lewd and lascivious behavior with a minor, Rabbi Steve Caro accepted a plea deal Thursday for the lesser charge of battery. In court, just feet away from Caro, his 11-year-old accuser and her mother, who despite initially agreeing to the deal being offered, asked the judge not to approve it. Rabbi Caro took my daughter, touched and squeezed her buttocks, placed her on his lap, took off her glasses, touched her hair, told her how pretty she was, rubbed her thighs and kissed her up and down, up and down her neck. I understand that any mother is going to be very protective of her child. But the prosecution asked the judge to move forward with the deal because going to trial would harm the girl. And at the end of the day, I'm not entirely confident that we would ultimately convince a jury beyond and to the exclusion of every reasonable doubt that the conduct that happened here rises to the level of a lewd or lascivious molestation. The 11-year-old girl told police Rabbi Caro had groped her over her clothing at his Miami Beach Art Gallery last summer. The rabbi admitted to CBS4 after leaving jail then that he was just trying to cleanse the girl of negative energy. After accepting the plea in court, Rabbi Caro's attorney pointed out his client is innocent. Do you think for one moment that the chief assistant state attorney, the chief in charge of all sexual crimes, would reduce this case to a simple battery where my client is not convicted, where the case will be dismissed? in nine months if she had any doubt. I wanted him prosecuted as a sexual offender, sex offender, and uh, they gave him a misdemeanor, so hopefully it will never happen again. God forbid it happen again to another child. I respect the presumption of innocence, and I hope you will too, because a good man has had his reputation destroyed. Now, the judge ordered Rabbi Caro to get counseling and to stay out of trouble for the next nine months, at which point the charges will be dismissed. We're live at the Metro Justice Building, Donna Rapato, CBS 4 News, tonight.